I 100% would call myself a plastic mom, and I think plastic is fantastic. I have one son, his name is Chaz, and he's 11 years old. I think plastic surgery has impacted, of course, my parenting. There have been times where I had to take extra time to recover. I was a bit worried about her when she had her last surgery. My complications, unfortunately, were really serious. I was in pain for well over a year. I also spent quite some time in the hospital because of sepsis. Bubs, what are you doing? Homework. Do you need help? It's due tomorrow. I'm writing an essay. Hi, I'm Elena Starr. I'm 33 years old. I have one son. His name is Chaz, and he's 11 years old. This looks good. How much longer do you think you have until you're done? Uh, like five minutes. So later, I have an appointment. One of my friends is coming over to give me just some fillers. Yeah. Okay. Have you seen your mom get fillers before? No, I haven't seen my mom get fillers before. I usually go when he's in school. I think my mom is very different from my friend's moms because she, she has like, I don't know, like plastic surgery. I wouldn't say there's a specific look I'm going for. I just know that I want my outside to match my inside. So far to date, I've had three Brazilian butt lifts, one tummy tuck. I've done liposuction on every body part possible, fat transfer to my hips. I did breast augmentation three different times, and I did rhinoplasty, which was my first procedure. Along the way, it's just been a lot of fillers. I have silicone in my lips, my cheeks, my chin, pretty much everywhere. In total right now, I think I've spent close to, if not a little bit over, $170,000 on plastic surgery. Some surgeries, if they go wrong, it might even result in death. But it's her choice to decide if she does need plastic <laughs> surgery or doesn't. I was a bit worried about her when she had her last surgery. My last surgery I had in 2020. I did hip implants and butt implants. My hip implants were amazing. Everything was 100% smooth. But unfortunately, I did have complications with my butt implants. The incision never closed properly. So for a year, I had to have a wound vac machine, which basically just tries to pull the skin together. Unfortunately, I was diagnosed with sepsis, which is a blood disorder and a blood infection that's pretty serious. I've had complications before in the past, but nothing quite this serious, which was eye-opening for me, of course. Do you ever get like scared that the surgeries could go wrong again? That's, that's kind of like a question I think about whenever she has a surgery, like will it go wrong or right? But, but all of the times I went right. <laughs> Are you ready for me to touch up your eyebrows? We'll just darken them a little bit, N nothing too dramatic. Everything that I use to help tint his eyebrows is non-toxic, there's no crazy chemicals, and it's just because he has such light eyebrows and he does have the highlights, so we just sort of like make it frame his face a little bit better. And he loves this, it's super relaxing, isn't it? Yeah, I like being pampered. I've always been open with Chaz about all the surgeries and procedures that I've had. I involved him in the decision making, for better or worse. And I know that that's a lot to put on a child, especially who's 11, um, but he's very mature for his age. I think the more open I am about my journey, the more I'm inviting people to criticize and comment on the things that I'm doing. All right, you're just about done. I do get a lot of negative feedback from people who don't know me. They're just judging based on she's a mom and she likes plastic surgery. Do you want to see how they came out? Okay. Nice. You like them? Yeah. My self-worth isn't defined by the amount of Instagram followers I have or the comments and especially the negative comments that people leave about me when they don't know who I really am. Some shade to the haters. <laughs> hey! Hi. How are you? Good. Good. How are you? How you been? And how much do you think you'll need? One milliliter? Two? Smile for me? 
I think one. I brought three. I'm like filler addict. I know you already, so I brought, <laughs> yeah. I brought enough filler. Hi. It's Chess. <laughs> Normally I schedule these things when he's in school, so uh -huh. it's not like oh, this is disrupting exciting. his day. <laughs> I think that my son has accepted my plastic surgery journey. Head that way. Should I be up more, down more? No, I need okay. you to lay down flat. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. Just put in a few shots. You like it, Chaz? Mm -hmm. It's different, right? Yeah. Yeah, it looks amazing so far. I'm obsessed. Mm -hmm. There is a stigma attached to people who do these procedures and stuff like that. And you shouldn't have to feel insecure about wanting to, you know, better yourself. My thing, it looks gorgeous. <laughs> Be still, my heart. <laughs> At the end of the day, I think that I'm not really that much different from the other moms yeah. because what's really important is taking care of our kids and I think we're all on the same page when it comes to that. How badass am I though? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I think she's very tough. I think in general there's always some sort of guilt that just comes with the fact that as a mom you're doing something for yourself and you're not doing it for your child, but at the same time I think that as a mom, I'm best when I'm the happiest, and these are things that make me happy. I hope that when he's older, he does things that make him happy too. <laughs> I got my first ever kill. I 100% would call myself a plastic mom. 